Hi Capricorn, welcome to your November 2017 love reading. It's Raina here. And obviously I have laid out the cards. I had to start over again. This is a new deck that I'm using. It's called Crystal Visions Tarot. Um, Jennifer Galasso. And this is what the back looks like. So that's that. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to begin. And um, the, the different elements are represented because, you know, wands relate to fire, so the color is red. So I notice they do that, and they have the swords, which are the air signs, blue, and so on and so forth. Pentacles, green, earth, and what's the water? I'm sure the water is kind of a... I'll have to see. I, I, I'm sure it's going to be purple or something. But anyway, this is the heart of the matter, the page of wands. This can be a new relationship that um, it may be just at the very beginning and there's um, excitement for you maybe you're feeling like a kid again and um, you're not a kid maybe this is not even in the physical yet maybe this is some kind of a message that you receive possibly from somebody that you used to be with if not, if you're communicating with somebody online, for instance, you may just feel like you're really hitting it off with this person. And um, so let me just keep going and I'll, I'll fill in the blanks. In the past position, we have the Ace of Swords. I just got this card for another sign. And this is really a card of, you know, the dust clearing and really seeing your life as it is. The moment of clarity, that's a good way of um, looking at it. The moment of clarity. A lot of times the moment of clarity is within a bad relationship, isn't it? And a perfect example, or maybe it's not that perfect, but it's an example is if you are in a, let's say you're in a marriage, and maybe it's a long-term marriage, and you're not happy, but you feel a sense of duty. You feel like it's wrong to get divorced. It's wrong to just have upheaval in the family. Maybe you have children, and it's really keeping you there, and that's understandable. And then something happens where... It, you're done and it doesn't you don't even care anymore because it's just too much it's just too far gone and it's like then you're able to move on and it's always great when you have those moments because a lot of times we're in between we're not just totally clear it's not a clean break it's not we're, we're a little bit still torn about what what we're going to do and this is like, nope, I'm done. This is it. Or, you know, you're believing the lies that somebody's telling you, even though your higher mind, your higher self is saying, oh, this is, this is not true. And then the inevitable happens where you catch that person yourself in an actual lie in a compromising situation and then you're done and it's like it, it almost like is a relief because you maybe you thought you were crazy even and the page of wands can simply be that you're happy again because the page is like the infancy of something and you may be like a newborn child, a newborn baby, where you're like, wow, this is my life. I can especially see it if you were married for a number of years or, to, or involved with somebody for a number of years and you feel like you have a new lease on your life. And, um, and this is the King of Wands, which can speak of that... Um, feeling of control. I think that's, I, usually I would say that this is an actual person and maybe in some cases if you're 
with somebody who is, maybe this is a new person in your life who's an Aries or especially an Aries, but Leo Sagittarius, this could be describing them, somebody with a fiery temperament, but somebody who is mature, an older man, a man who is much more enterprising than a hothead or anything like that. Okay, but this could also be a facet of yourself because I think like the king is the ultimate example of being in control of your life. And when you feel that sense of autonomy, it's, it's absolutely intoxicating. It can really make you feel like you're just on top of the world in a lot of ways. The higher perspective, the spiritual message in all of this is represented by the lovers. Now, it's very interesting in my Morgan Greer deck, I don't I don't know about the um, Rider Waite, but in my Morgan Greer deck, they show naked, two naked people because it is a card of intimacy, but also even of sexuality. In this deck, it's much more chaste, and I like that because it's almost like this spiritual love, okay? And they almost look like spiritual beings, don't they? And um, this is the spiritual message. So basically what I would interpret that as, as a spiritual message for you, Capricorn, is perhaps now you're going to attract to you the relationship that is of a higher caliber, than what you have come out of. There may be many things that happened that brought you to a certain place. You may have gotten married or moved in with somebody because you got pregnant and you, you know you thought, oh, okay, well, you know, now we're a family. It may have been just because you turned 30 and you thought, okay, I gotta get married, you know. Who knows? People get together for many different reasons and they're not always spiritual reasons. Sometimes they're just, you know, not having anything better to do, for lack of a better term, you know. And um, this is like kind of maybe even like a soulmate type of relationship that you could now bring into your life because you're free. You're open for it. What crosses you is represented by the Hierophant. Um, I think that, you know, this is really funny because the Hierophant, uh, this is a great depiction of the Hierophant. You can see that this is a religious man. Oh, and you know what I noticed, though? I see the Om sign. <laughs> They're really covering all the bases. They even got, is that the Wiccan symbol? I don't know, the, the, the pentacle. And uh, the yin and yang. <laughs> all, they've got all of them. All the bases covered. But this is um, organized religion. We could say that this is the... I mean, it's also about marriage, too, okay? So it is conforming to the uh, pillars or the, you know, the things in society. What are they called? Just the, the different... Um, institutions that make up our, our society. And this is the challenge position for Capricorn. So you have to be careful of not being too conventional in your thinking or too conservative. I think that's what I'm trying to say. You're, tr you're a traditional sign, Capricorn. And as such, you may conform to these Maybe the dogma of a certain religion that tells you, oh, you can't get divorced. That's again, you know, and these kind of things. And you have to be able to sort out for yourself what makes sense to you and what doesn't. I'm, I'm perfectly sure that when I say something like this, that I will get at least one person writing to me and saying that marriage is important in our society. And I'm not trying to bash marriage, 
but sometimes the form takes over in, instead of the function. What is the function of marriage? The function of marriage is an outer entity that's designed to keep families intact, I would say, ultimately, that that's what its main construct is for. And if you get too hung up on that, on the form, rather than the function, then you stay within that form even if it's outserved, outlived its function, if it doesn't really serve you anymore. And this is, this is a big problem in many areas of life, is that people follow the outer um, trappings, and there's nothing but that outer trapping. There's nothing to keep them there except for that. And if you are unhappy in a relationship, that's going to affect every other area of your life. So it really makes no sense ultimately to stay in a relationship that is not really vibing with you anymore. And it, it could, the other person could be a wonderful person, but you don't feel like um, you're going in the same direction. You don't feel you're on the same page. I will say that some people are never happy and they're always looking to other people to make them happy. And that certainly can happen. Hopefully you're not one of those people because then you, you might leave a wonderful person in pursuit of the so-called perfect partner that does not exist. So that is a trap that people get involved in. But this is specifically about being too conventional, conforming to whatever has come before without thinking for yourself. If you have thought things very carefully and you honor certain traditions, then that's perfectly fine. But if you're just doing it, you're going through the motions in order to satisfy some something um, that really doesn't have anything to do with you and your life and your values, ultimately, then that's where I think it might be a problem. What's coming in is the Knight of Pentacles, and this is definitely, um, this could be a Taurus person. Actually, this is connected to the sign of Taurus, but this is in the challenge position, so a, um, you may have a Taurus person that's not so good for you, but this is also associated with Taurus, and I always associate with Capricorn, strangely enough, because um, it's an earth sign energy, obviously the other earth sign is Virgo, um, perhaps you are going to be working a lot and just focused on making a lot of money and maybe you have uh, a certain goal in mind like having a down payment for a house and you're going to just be losing yourself in your work and that's how you kind of get over the hump of leaving behind something that uh, is no longer working for you or this is somebody that may come into your life that is an earth sign or somebody who's very hard working and all those attributes that I had mentioned the outcome is the star card so whatever goes on it's all about you healing and having more hope in your life which is always a good thing and feeling like the world the universe is uh, has your back instead of that everything is against you. Maybe you are starting to feel that way. I think one thing too about a bad relationship is that it can cause cynicism, bitterness. If you're involved with somebody and it's a very toxic situation. And so when you get away from such a person, you immediately experience a sense of relief and healing and hopefulness and that's what the the star card is all about so it really is a positive reading it may be that there's a lot going on for you Capricorn and maybe there are decisions that need to be made in your life but I see a lot of good things too so that's always nice to to be able to tell you about so um, anyway I hope you enjoyed this if you'd like a private reading please visit me at rainamoonastrology.com. The link is below. Take care of yourselves.
in November. Capricorn, bye.